There we go. Let's see what you guys got this morning. This is 1992. Yeah. Featuring number 12. Yep. Go in the other room and we'll get started in a sec. Okay. Can we do the bitty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to. Okay. I'm tripping over this thing here. Let's see. Where should I want it? What are you looking for? White. What kind of bee? Okay. Here we are for our Christmas program. There's everybody sitting here in Grandma's new house. I have to go out every morning and crack the ice. Okay. Okay, you guys. We go out and hammer and bust the ice for all the animals' water. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Something that you guys need to know. Stephanie wrote the play this year. Uh -huh. Okay. So she's very, very good. Excited. She wrote the play and she gave us our part. Well, great. Okay. okay. Curtain. Dun, dun, dun. It came to pass. In those days, it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. All went to be taxed to their own city. Come on, Mary. We Wait, have to Matthew. The stage is up here over by the rug because the cameras are on. Come on Turn Mary, around and face the camera. The Bethlehem by morning. When Joseph went to Bethlehem, I think he took great care to place his tools and clothes which up and leaves no shaving set. He hears the donkey's old words and his memory on his back. He carried bread and That evening, baby Jesus was born. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
our play for tonight. <laughs> Written by Stephanie Shaw. <laughs> you guys got to take a bow. Go take a bow. Out there, Steph. he would like to sing. Okay, stand up, Matthew. Over there. Without piano. Stand over on that side over there. Over by the fireplace a little bit so they can hear you better. 
Okay, wait a minute. Let me figure out where you're at here. I bet you it sounds great. We're going to get him to sing this in the second room. What was that, man? starting to clap too.
A little bit more mobile than I am here. And then we'll do something a little special after that, too. Well, it's a little out of, a little out of comedic that Stephanie's doing such a wonderful job. But yes, you really did, Stephanie. I will say that that's the finest Christmas program we've ever, ever had. There's been a lot of them. There's been an awful lot of them. Well, this is a Christmas story, okay? This is the story of birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that they went out of the tree from Caesar Augustus, and all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone went to his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, unto Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. To be taxed with Mary, his spouse wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds standing in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was the angel, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, good will toward men. <laughs> Now we have this on film for posterity. Now we got to remember that tonight's Gigi and Pop's 60th wedding anniversary. That's right. We got to remember that. We want, we want Gigi and Pop to tell us about their tell Christmas Christmas. Yeah. How about your first, very, very first Christmas? Yeah. We'd like to hear about that. This will be great. <laughs> I think we better hear both, both versions. Can you move this over a little bit more? Okay. No.
Well, he sold it for three for a quarter. In those days, a quarter was a lot of money. So we had this lovely Christmas tree that we took home. We took out all the ornaments from the tree that didn't have any needles on it and put it on the new tree that we had just gotten. So while we were walking home, it started to snow. And in St. Paul, Minnesota, there are many, many trees. And they all, a lot of evergreen trees, and they all have big branches. And the snow was falling so gently and so beautifully that every every branch was, was like it had been decorated. It was the most beautiful Christmas tree you could ever, ever imagine. And we had the most beautiful Christmas tree you could ever imagine. We had many Christmas trees since, but that was a very important one. Well, was that, that the was day you were? Ago, that was the day you were married, right? That was the day we were married. Where did you get married? At? In St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota. Oh, I bet it was cold. Wow. Yeah, but it was more beautiful snow storm. The, the snow was falling in huge flakes, very gently. As a matter of fact, the next day, the newspapers were full of pictures of winter wonderland and true mm. was. We walked, 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 walked. <coughs> Oh, you're kidding. It's just, it's it's just like they come down the snow, you know, and hung on the trees. They look like stars. Hmm. It's just beautiful. So that was our first Christmas tree. 60 years ago. Yeah. Long we before had, any of us. We had a Christmas tree every year, but we didn't find any more in the whole cut. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I put it in there, and I figured she wouldn't see it. But when I shut the door, and I was in there for uh, at least a week, Oh. And no air in there is dead. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, I thought maybe a day or two. I didn't know he put it in there for a whole he week. Was, he was at the time when she was in her apartment. He was getting all his stuff for it. And, uh, oh, boy. That tree was about this tall, too. I think from about here on up. Not one of these leaves on that tree. <coughs> 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 well, guys, does everybody want to sing a few Christmas carols? Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in the mood? Who wants to lead? Which one? You pick one and then... Pick one that's up with easy words that we all know. Yeah, one of the regular ones that everybody knows. Wait a minute, let Heather pick it. Get around behind me, okay? Let me get stuck over. Real quick. Okay, should Stephanie go first then? Before you think of one? I listen to him, but I know you guys don't know. Okay, Steph, what are we singing? Everyone know Dashing through the snow? Yeah. Dashing through the snow. And we're close over the sleigh. Over the fields we go. You know? What? You know? You know Ruda? No, you know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Dixon. That's how it starts. You well, you know. Okay. You start it and we'll follow. We'll I'll tr I'll help. Okay. Okay. You no, wait a minute, start with the name. You know 
Dasher and dancer and prancer and vixen. Comet oh, and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer. No, wait a minute. Then one, then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, ho, 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 Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then how the reindeer loved him, as they shouted out with glee, like the toothpaste, Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, You'll go down in history. Oh, wow. We did. We went to his house. We, had, um, we went to a reception we at his saw house. We saw Gene Autry's gold plate and copy of that. Yes. He wrote and, it, yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, okay, Heather, have you picked one yet? Yeah. I don't know if he wrote it, but he was he recorded it. Yeah, he recorded it, yeah. I decided night. Better every year. Oh, good. <coughs> Start a little high, though. Silent night. Yeah, that's a good movie. 
That's a classic. Yeah, you bet. That's what a Christmas story. I want to tell Mom I want the Red Ryder BB gun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. What do you guys think Santa's gonna bring you? Uh, roll Nothing. Nothing. Dazzle, or I mean, well, I mean, guess what? You got one of the three, right? Close. <laughs> 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 I know. Actually, Stephanie's getting to that age where she kind of likes that. Yeah, but uh, but not the only thing, huh, Steph? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, underwear and socks. Underwear and socks. That's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. for a police <laughs> 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 Jennifer, take her up there and see if you can get her to dance. Don't care socks and you have to they have to be what? I'll give mommy I hold your dance. Yeah, three pairs of long 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 long
this one is two donuts from Greg. Oh, oh, honey, scoot out there a little bit. What? That's what that's you open it. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Matthew's going to be here. I better go buy something. <laughs> I think that uh, Payless is open to midnight. Berkeley's open to midnight, too. Yeah, but some, some of them are like shared things where, we, you know, all of you can share them together. Right. I mean, I'm sure he would have did a little more shopping if he had a chance, but this is what he got to do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. What is this? Stop for the car. Oh. I need a notepad because I'm always... Oh, back your head up. Oh, that's nice. Pass it around, Matthew, for Daddy. He was very excited about these gifts. He told me about a couple weeks ago. He was really excited about making all these mm. special items. Here, I'll pass it around. It's a set for in his car. It's like notepads. Heather. Stuff Elizabeth. Yeah, it's like a light and stuff. A light and stuff. Just stand her up on by Grandpa's knee. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. So he's got to wait for her. Grandpa's going to get the next one. You're the funniest kid in the whole house. Okay, here comes um, Grandpa. Oh, the Uncle Larry from Greg. Wow. And that's a nice big heavy one. Oh, wow. It's a, it's a load of bricks.
Put on the edge of the table. Construct your dome. Now, doesn't that just match your new carpet and everything?
Oh, that'll be fine. That's stuff for the cards. This will be fine. I'll move it later. Take tomorrow. <laughs> 